How's it going everyone? So really quickly, I wanted to go over the differences between your charging options at home that you have available to you when it comes to charging your EV. Those are typically 120 and 240. And I wanna go over why I think 240 is actually so much more efficient and better in terms of time and efficiency. A lot of people go into buying an EV and think, oh, I can just get by with the 120 outlet I have in my house. And sure you can, but there will definitely be times where you get home and you need to leave right away after work again. And you'll realize that the 120 couldn't cut it and it didn't give you enough range back on your vehicle to get to where you need to go next. So 240 is a much more viable option. 120 is more for long term if you don't really go anywhere once you get home after coming back from work or somewhere that you went during the day because your car will have a lot more time to just sit overnight and do that slow 120 charging. But nowadays people drive a lot. We don't realize how much more driving we're doing now versus even just 10 years ago. We're doing so much more driving that we need that extra range and that faster charging speed. So 240 is a much better option. Now, 240 isn't widely available in homes across the country. Maybe some newer ones are coming with the option since EVs are becoming more popular, but a lot of people don't have 240. There are ways to get 240 without having to have your electrician come out and install something on the wall so that you can plug in 240, kind of like your dryer and washer outlets in your laundry room. They make a box that's called the Quick 220 or there's different other brand names where you can combine two electrical outlets, standard 110 outlets, uh, by plugging into different ones in your garage that are on different phases, and this box will then convert it into 240 volts so that now you can charge your EV at 240 volts. So it's actually really interesting, the differences in efficiency and charging speed uh, from 120 to 240 volts, and I'll show you that real quick. So if I go into my screen here and I go to charging, it gives you the different times that your charge would be completed by. So 120 volts would not be done until 3.30 p.m. That is four hours it would take to charge my car back up and give it as little as another 13 miles that it needs back on the battery. Whereas 240 volts would only take an hour and 20 minutes, hour and 30 minutes or so. So that's very significant. You got four hours or an hour and 30 minutes. You can see how much more efficient that 240 volts is versus the 120 just by looking at those stats. So yeah, something I definitely highly recommend is if you do not decide to get a 220, 240 volt outlet installed on your wall for your EV, to go ahead and buy one of those conversion boxes. You'll probably have to buy some extension cables for it so that you could reach other outlets that are on different phases in your electrical panel. Um, and once you plug into those, it'll combine the two 110, 120 uh, AC voltages into one 220 voltage inside the box. And then you can plug your EV charger into that box. And now you have a 240 volt circuit that you can charge your vehicle on. So that's just a quick basic video that I have for the differences between the charging speeds and efficiency uh, between 120 and 240. Definitely highly recommend the 240. So be sure to subscribe, comment, like, let me know what you think. Check out my other videos I have on the channel. I got a bunch of more EV tips and tricks and different videos helping you uh, enjoy your EV experience. Uh, thanks for tuning into this video and I'll see you around.